creating large-scale textures of high quality is an extremely challenging task. Existing solutions often suffer from obvious repetitions and artifacts. We introduce TileGAN, a texture synthesis framework that creates very large-scale textures using generative adversarial networks. Our method produces highly detailed textures with interesting features. TileGAN lets users interactively generate and paint textures using latent brushes. We train a network using progressive growing of GANs on texture data, such as these aerial images. The generated texture tiles are of very high quality and rich in detail. The key to our method is in the careful tiling of intermediate latent tiles. We extract latent tiles at an intermediate stage from the network. These latents are stored along with a downsampled representation of the corresponding generated image. We can use an image as a guidance map for our synthesized result. The guidance image is split into blocks and a latent tile is queried for each of the blocks. The latent tiles are combined to form a latent field and cropped to control the size of the output patches. The field is processed by the second generator stage, yielding the output texture. An MRF formulation can be applied to the latent field to improve the coherence. Here, our interface is displaying a randomized grid of texture tiles. On the bottom, clusters of latents depict the available latent paint brushes. Here, we iteratively replace one tile with a new latent from the green cluster. Note how the latent blending creates plausible features that are compatible with the surrounding areas. Now we clone from the yellow region to a larger area in the texture. Here we show results that were generated using networks trained on high-resolution paintings. This generated image has 620 megapixels. This output showing Times Square has a resolution of 1.1 gigapixels. This result showing the old town of Jeddah has a resolution of 270 megapixels. We show results in different styles generated from the same guidance image. Our code is available on GitHub. Thank you for watching.